Well, hello guys, and welcome to Resonant Rise Mainline. Okay, so, uh, Resonant Rise Mainline is basically, it's one of the newer mod packs on the AT launcher, and one of the really cool things that I thought was really cool about it was the fact that you're allowed to play through different eras, and you can start off in the Primordial Era, which is where we are right now, you will grab this flower, or you can go into like the deeper eras like the medieval era or the information era and then it allows you to kind of progress through the eras and play which eras you want to so right now we're playing the primordial era which is the era of the dinosaurs you an apple and so basically all the mods that are in this um section of the mod pack are your kind of prehistoric ooh, there are lots of mobs under there there are a lot of prehistoric, like, cavemen mobs. So we have mobs like Botanica, which is where we're allowed to create flowers that can harness mana. God, the skeletons are everywhere. That can harness mana and protect us by either herding monsters or we can use mana to power furnaces. It's really, really cool. Here, um, we can probably find some more stuff in these villages. Oh, white flower. We'll grab that. Um, oh, I don't want emeralds. And, uh, back to Botanica. And so it allows you to, like, what I was saying, just make really cool plants and all that with flowers. Like, these mystical flowers. So we're just gonna be collecting those as we travel around. You know, let's grab these grapes. Okay, other mods. There's also, oh, I mean, we are in the primordial era, so dinosaurs were alive back then. So we also have installed the archa- archa- Fossils and Archaeology mod. Oh, oh. We also have that mob mod installed, so we will be growing slash creating dinosaurs. Even though, I mean, they didn't have scientists back then, like using their DNA to, I don't know, grow them. They were like naturally occurring. But hey, it's as good as they're gonna get for now, so they should be happy. Ooh, gray flowers. Okay. So, let's go ahead and punch this tree. I mean, you got a nice little spawn with that village. Wow, look, the food bar looks really weird. I don't know what's happening. Uh, yeah, we got a nice spawn. I mean, we had the village right there, so we got a good little bit of food. Also got some ladders. I guess I broke them down or something when I wasn't paying attention. But yeah, so, nice little spawn. Now we got a whole tree. I don't know if we should stay relatively close. Oh, they do have oil. That's not supposed to... Didn't even... Maybe they had oil back, like, a hundred million years ago, but I, I don't think so. So, ooh, this is a cool biome. What's this called? This is a... Where are they? It's a savanna biome, but still. I hear zombies. Ah. Okay. Orange flowers. Okay. So, this is a cool little biome. So, we, we could set up a little... That was a lag spike. So we could set up like a little shack or something and like use that shack to mine for a bit. Let's grab these flowers. What was that? Are we being followed? I don't know. Ooh, pumpkins. Let's grab these. Ah, pumpkins. Cool. Ooh, is that a... Ooh, that is a volcano. Oh, this is cool. So... Basically, like I said, it allows you to progress through the eras. So, it's almost like there's a villager. I fell in a hole. Oh, there is some coal down there. Oh, wow. Look at all this. We have lead. We have zinc. Iron. I know lapis spawn this high up. Or maybe, are we like deeper down or something? More fireworks! Here, should we go outside? No. Okay, the fireworks are over. I don't know what that what's up with that about like the fireworks and New Year's like I don't know. Okay, let's make a wooden pick. Awesome. So um yeah, it allows you to progress through all the eras and it allows you to like save your world and add in the new mods from the new eras. So kind of what I I think would be really cool is if we build a base in this era but then in the next era we just add on to our current base and then we continue to just 
add on to that base and then by the time we get to the final era which i believe is the information era we'll have just a base that's a mashup of all these different like eras and it'll just be really cool because i imagine we'll like use different things in each era because i mean we'll have access to like marble and things like that back now back i guess back in this time period maybe but in the future eras, we'll have things like factory blocks and all sorts of cool building blocks like those that we can use and maybe even the chisel mod. So I think that'll be kind of cool, like to just have this giant base that's been made up from all these different eras of civilization or Minecraft civilization, Minecraft, yeah, and use all of... Oh, look, we do have marble. Okay. But um, to use all of those just different building mashups to build just a really cool base that's just kind of like a mosaic of all the eras so that'll be pretty cool oh coal ore and marble oh that's cool that was gravel yeah okay so also other mods we're going to be looking into uh we also have the Erebus mod installed which is probably one of the coolest mods i ever heard about basically like it adds an alternate dimension like the nether or the end or some other sort of basically it adds another world that isn't this world and it's a spider wor world it's an arachnid world so basically if we go to the Erebus, we get to basically explore oh, redstone <laughs> we'll have to come grab that we get to explore a world filled with minecraft spiders and that's because i think that's gonna be pretty fun but making the portal there it's pretty intense i mean we need we first need to make a bunch of like mod specific stuff i have the list down on my desk but i i'm not gonna stop reading i'm not gonna stop playing and start reading but i know that we need like a lot of mod specific stuff like i think we need a gain stone or something and then also we need things like diamonds and right now we have a stone pickaxe so we're a little far away but eventually we will get there okay um we have a good amount of resources i think we're gonna pack up and go look for a place to build a home for now just so we don't like get caught in the dark and die a lot because that would be bad okay let's grab this last little bit of iron Ugh. i wonder where the testificates are i can hear them but i can't see them no more iron Ugh, if we get caught in the dark, I'm gonna be sad. We can always build, like, a dirt hovel, though. I mean, yeah, it's a dirt hovel, but it's our first night. It's okay. Okay, there we go. No more mining. Lead. I can't mine it. Good. Okay. Where are the NPCs? I don't know. I give up. There's a skeleton over there. We're not gonna go that way. There's oil. I don't think there should be oil back now. I think it's too early. For the, ooh, there's a desert island. We could build on that island. Oh, there's another village. We can take refuge in that village overnight. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Ooh, look, is that like a jungle biome? Oh my god. Okay, another mod that we have installed is the primitive mobs era, or primitive mobs mod. So, that's a weird noise. Oh my god, run, 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 run. But it's the uh, primitive mobs mod so what that does is it adds a bunch of it basically alters the mods mobs in this era and makes them different and so i think they're like they're new varieties of creepers and they're new varieties of just lots of different types of mobs and i think there were like four different types of creepers if i'm not mistaken so it, it's it's pretty extensive like they've added quite a bit to the game God, that's really annoying. I hope they fix that or turn that off soon. Let's just grab these carrots and we'll grab the wheat too. And then we'll go take over some testificates home and use his home as a shelter. Okay. Wait, um, anything in there? Nope. We'll grab this orange flower. Just more testificates and some more farms. Anything in here? No, there's nothing in there. God, that's such an annoying noise. Ooh, this is a brewery test if we could help. We'll go in here. Okay. Oh, look, the volcano's right there. That'd be a good source of lava if we ever needed it. Is there anything in here? No, I don't think so. Okay. This is the brewery hut. We'll go in here. Just gonna mine through their walls. I hope they don't mind. Ugh. Do you have anything? 
two diamonds for white or emeralds for white. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, anything in here? Nope. Okay, we'll just take refuge in the library and shack. I guess it's not really. Ooh, you're a primitive. What are you? A traveling merchant? One emerald or three glowstone? So he's part of the primitive mobs. Like, see, um, the blue thing on the top of the screen is called Wayla, I believe, and it's an acronym for what am I looking at? So basically, you can see that we're now looking at bookshelves, and if we look at the glass, it says glass panes. So that's that's really cool. Because it's great, like, I guess eventually when you're in the information era and you're dealing with all these machines and stuff like that, you don't have to... I'm going to board up the door. There we go. When you're in the information era and you're looking at all these machines and, like, you're crying because you're like, Oh my god, there's too many machines, I don't know what I'm looking at. That doesn't happen anymore. So, that's pretty cool. Okay, so, why don't we cook up some of our iron and use that? Because I doubt there's going to be any way to, like, triple our ore like in this dimension. I think that's just a bit too early. Like maybe there's a grindstone or something, but I don't think it's worth it. So yeah, we can't even make a crafting station. Yeah, so we're pretty early. Let's go ahead and just eat. We're not gonna eat a zombie. Can we use this to make like jerky or something? We can make fertilized dirt, a zombie head, the wither skeleton skull, wow. Or we can use it to make flask of weakness. Or we can use, oh, blood magic is also involved in this mod. But I've used blood magic before, and so if you guys are interested in seeing blood magic, I guess we can dive into it. But I wanted to look at some of the like mods I haven't used, like Botanica. So if you want to see it, we'll definitely do it. Just let me know. Okay, so you have all of these tools. Oh, what is that? Does, oh, does that show you how much it fills? Oh, that's cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and eat some carrots. Nom, 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 nom. Okay. Oh, that's cool how it's, like, animated now, and it's not just your, like, static hunger bar, I guess you could call it. Can we make this into flour? Let's see. Uh, we can make it into bread. Was that- that was sugar. Um, or we can make it into runes for Botanica, or potatoes with Botanica as well, I guess. I think mana is involving Botanica. Or... I- Flim Flam? Is that Darkcraft? I think that may be. No? Okay, so I guess we'll just make bread with our wheat then. Wait, right, we have all of our mystical flowers. Oh, we don't need orchids. Here, let's go ahead and build a small chest for the things we don't need. Because so we'll just, I guess, abandon this village. And then we will go live in our new homes here. Eh. Ladders may be useful. And we want the potatoes. We don't need the orchids. We'll take the books and the rice. Cotton seeds, sure. Okay, and we want all the mystical flowers. So, um, also on my notepad, I have, like, things that we should get before, like, in order to progress through the mods. And one of the things that we want is 16 of each flower. So we will just collect flowers as we explore and go around the world so we don't have to just spend a ridiculous amount of time, like, a whole episode just wandering around collecting them. So hopefully, like, by the time we find a cool place to build a base, we will have all of the flowers that we would need. Okay. Oh, there's zombies right there. Hello, zombie. Hello. Okay. 15 iron bars. So, let's go ahead and make an iron sword. An iron pick. We will make two buckets. And then with whatever iron we have left, I guess we'll make armor. So we're gonna have seven, so we can make pants. I think that's the best protection we'll get. Okay. And we could do boots and make... Uh, do we want to do boots and make a second pickaxe? No, we'll just make pants. Okay, so now let's... That furnace is done, we'll pick it up. And we may as well pick up this crafting table, and we'll just leave that chest behind. Don't get on the crafting table to stiff it. Okay, and let's go ahead and switch these tools out because I don't want to die. I have so much cool stuff. Die. Okay, got one. Just harvest these flowers. And we'll get this orange one. What's that? Dead leaf piles. Don't need those. Okay, now since we're leaving this village, we'll just harvest all of their carrots and potatoes and steal them. Well, we're not stealing. I guess we're just permanently borrowing. 
but that that can pretty much be counted as stealing. Here, let's grab those our orchids. Don't need those. More potatoes, sure. I think the more food we get now, the less we're gonna have to worry about it later. And also, all these seeds that we're getting, it's gonna be great for Botanica because you need, I think, one seed to make each flower. So that'll be really helpful down the line if we collect seeds now because we won't have to break tons of grass. Mystical white flower, you won't have to break tons of grass later. We can just use our already hoarded. It's not really collected, it's hoarding. Our already hoarded seeds. I mean, who needs a stack? seeds it's like when you have that many Ooh, there's reeds over here let's grab those oh another trader what do you have you have wheat for emeralds um we have enough wheat but i don't think it's worth it i think we should just save our resources and ooh, we don't have enough space for the feathers here look we're gonna throw out these seeds in order to get feathers can we pick up the green flowers no let's throw out the cotton seeds we can get more cotton seeds later let's just kill all these chickens and there's another one over here. What type of flower is this? Mystical brown flower? Ugh, we'll wait till later. We're already out of space. Ooh, there's like a desert over here. Okay, let's break these reeds. And I don't think we have room. I know that chicken. Okay, got that chicken. We will grab these mystical blue flowers. And let's go look at this desert. Okay, so orange flowers, oh look there's an enderman over there, let's not look at him. I guess it's not really a desert, it's more so kind of like a desert cliff. Ooh, what's this? It looks like a ruined farm. Uh, can we go down? No, we can't go down. Yeah, they're growing some wheat and their fences here. Yeah, I don't know. Chickens, why are you in the oil? Like, why? I'm gonna have to kill these chickens just because... Oh, I don't think this is oil. Yeah, we're gonna get out of that. Yeah, we got slowness. Maybe maybe it is... Oh, I can't. I can't jump. Come on, chick. There we go. There's already another chicken in it. Okay, whatever. Chickens just want to die. Um, let's run this way. Away from the mobs. Okay. Ooh, there's a desert village. We're being really lucky with what's down here. I don't know. There's a desert village over there. We will go take refuge once again in a village. Ow, bad skeleton. Oh, and there's a cri primitive creeper. Ooh, what's this stone brick? Oh, this is so cool. Okay, what type of creeper are you? You're a fest. Oh my god. Okay, run. We're gonna run away from that creeper. We're gonna run to this village. There are too many mobs. Look at how tall these cacti are. That's a saguaro cactus. Okay, come on, run, 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 run. Oh, is that quicksand? Yeah, we jumped right over the quicksand. Okay, and there's another brewery. There's a uh, church. There is lots of other buildings. So we will just run in this brewery. We will barricade the door. And we don't have enough room wood to make a chest. So I guess this is our home for a little while, guys. Yeah. Okay. Well, this went well. Good first episode. I mean, we've already completely filled up our inventory. Here, let's go ahead and just put some of our crafting stuff down. Here, we'll put crafting tables and a furnace there. Okay. And the villagers are still moding. Okay. Well, guys, remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more of the primitive era playthrough of Resident Rise Mainline. Thanks for watching, and bye!